Today's extinct animal story will be focused on the heath hen, one of the three subspecies of the greater prairie chicken. These mostly flightless birds belong to the order of galliforms, the same classification of birds as chickens, grouses, turkeys, and more. They bore a pretty strikingly similar resemblance to that of the greater prairie chicken, except slightly smaller, with a length of about one and a half feet and a weight of about two pounds. They had all burnished and white speckled plumage, males with pointed feathers on their heads that resembled horns, and two vibrant orange air sacs on either side of their necks, which they inflated to produce a booming call in order to impress the ladies. This was also followed by a stomping dance. Heath hens lived in the sand plains, grasslands, pine barrens, and deciduous forests across the northeastern United States. They liked to eat mainly acorns, seeds, grass, insects, and berries they could find along the ground. So, how did these gallinaceous birds get genocided off the face of the earth? The poor heath hen suffered from just about everything under the sun, from overhunting to habitat loss, natural disasters, and diseases, and so forth. So, fun times. Although the heath hens have always been a food source to the indigenous Americans in the area, the relentless slaughter didn't pick up until the 1600s, following the arrival of European settlers, who had no respect for hunting seasons whatsoever. While on the topic of colonialism, some speculate that the infamous Thanksgiving dinner actually consisted not of wild turkey, but the heath hen. Settlers also brought with them invasive species such as cats and rats, who preyed on the defenseless creatures and their eggs. Crossbreeding with non-native domestic chickens also caused diseases. Hooray! By 1870, or perhaps even earlier, the heath hens went extinct. On the mainland, that is. A couple hundred survivors resided on their own little sanctuary in Martha's Vineyard, a tiny island off the coast of Massachusetts. And they were actually vibing for a while. Populations climbed from a couple hundred to a couple thousand. Things seemed pretty hopeful for the existence of the heath hens. Then, May. 1916, their breeding grounds became engulfed in flames. Like these birds could not catch a break. During this tragedy, mother heath hens showed their true devotion to protecting their young, refusing to leave their nests even as heat and fire and smoke swept all around them. After the fire, mostly males were left, leaving the male to female ratio severely out of balance, meaning less babies. Just in case the population wasn't suffering enough, someone thought it was a good idea to introduce turkeys to the island, which brought diseases. Pretty soon, only one heath hen remained. The endling was a male named Booming Ben after the mating calls he would frequently produce, in vain, for there were no females around for him to charm. He was last seen at a farm near West Tisbury the evening of March 11, 1932, and never returned. A year later, the species was declared extinct in the Martha's Vineyard Gazette periodical. One passage read, There is no survivor. There is no future. There is no life to be recreated in this form again.